Hello and welcome to today's flight. Today is August 13th, 2021, and we're going to be talking about a new feature in ForeFlight called Runway Lights in 3D Airports. We're going to use that feature here in ForeFlight, and then we're going to compare it both to X-Plane 11 and some real-world flight footage that I took the other day, and see how accurately it renders the runway lights for those airports. Let's begin by seeing how to use the feature. Let's zero in here on Tacoma Narrows Airport. That's Kilo Tango India Whiskey. We're going to click on the airport itself and then we're going to bring up the details for that airport and then we're going to click up here on 3D view. A 3D rendering of the airport maneuverable and changeable in altitude will appear. In this case we're seeing runway 17 at Tacoma Narrows Airport. In the lower right you'll also see a daytime and a nighttime button. When we click on the crescent moon the view changes to a nighttime view, showing the approach lighting system for Tacoma Narrows Airport. If you click here on the left, on the map layers, you'll also see options for traffic and obstacles. Right now I have traffic disabled. If I enable traffic, you'll see a three-dimensional presentation of real-world traffic in and around the vicinity of the airport. This three-dimensional presentation shows the aircraft end number and the altitude and relative direction. For now, I'm going to disable that feature and just show obstacles. And here you can see in the distance the lighted radio towers and their position with respect to the airport. And now let's take a look at a nighttime approach completed in X-Plane 11. Here you can see the remarkably accurate rendering of the approach lighting system and the precision approach path indicator to the right side of the runway. And now let's take a look at that same approach into Tacoma Narrows Airport at night in the real world airplane. There you can see again how accurately the approach lighting system is portrayed both in foreflight and in X-Plane. And now let's take a look at ForeFlight X-Plane and the real world video for comparison purposes. And here we see the ForeFlight 3D runway light presentation. And now we're looking at the final approach on X-Plane 11. And here's the real world presentation. And now let's conclude with the landing in X-Plane compared to the landing with the real world airplane with a particular emphasis on the lighting as the airplane approaches and touches down. And here's the final approach and landing in the real world airplane. As always, thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again on next flight.